I'm here in Ocean Shores, Washington. That's the Pacific Ocean behind me, and in front of me is Washington State. And we just drove all the way up here. I'm with my wife, my good buddy Josh Kane with us, and we just met up with Nate from Dirt Lifestyle, who is gonna take us on an adventure for the next several days to some amazing places. But here's the thing, I have no idea where I'm going, and this is my wife's first big adventure. Hopefully everything goes well. Being back on the coast in the Pacific Northwest is a special treat because Regina and I spent our honeymoon 27 years ago on the Washington coast and we haven't had a chance to come back since. There will be a few other special meaningful spots along this journey to us that will bring back some memories, but more on that soon. I'm truly thankful to Nate for hosting us because while I was stationed up in Washington while in the Navy, I never did any off-roading or overlanding up here. So having someone who knows the area well is a huge bonus. I just hope I can coax a little bit out of him about our itinerary over the next few days. I'm not really accustomed to not knowing where I'm going. As we departed the beach, we began to make our way northeast towards the Olympic Peninsula. We are on the road north following Nate and he told us our first stop along this trip is the Ho Rainforest where my wife Regina and I used to go hiking before we got married. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I love it there. Yeah, it's a beautiful place now. I've never wheeled or camped there, but this should be a great first destination. But the rest of this trip is still a mystery to us and we are on day three of this adventure so far. How's it been going? Great. I mean, it's awesome to get away from my desk, away from work, and kind of out in nature. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. been nice just to spend some time together, too, as well. Now, we have seven more days to go. This is going to be the longest overland trip you've ever done. Yes. How are you feeling about that? Um, a little nervous, but, you know, I think I packed enough stuff for it. Yeah. So, I think I thought of just about everything, although I left some food items behind, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, we got some nice creature comforts on the back of the truck. We do. I actually really like the trailer. Um, way better camper. than the rooftop it's a kit. Camper, Whatever. Camper. Yeah. camper. You know, the thing with the stuff. With the stuff. Yeah. yeah. But it's making it pretty nice. It's going to be nice. Especially, it's going to be cold tonight. Turn that heater on there. We'll be nice and comfortable. So, yep. we'll be in camp in about, uh, about two hours. So, we'll see you guys at camp. about 100 miles on the road, Nate made the call and turned off the highway onto a random dirt road he spotted. And we were so glad he did because we quickly found ourselves in the deep, lush vegetation of the Ho Rainforest. This area receives over 140 inches of rain each year, which results in every imaginable color of green you can think of. This place has such a magical feel to it I had forgotten just how special an area of the country this is. I forgot. All right, everybody. Well, uh, after only searching for about a half hour, we found this, I should say, Nate found <laughs> this amazing camp spot. Dude, this is beautiful, man. We got lucky. This has got to be just like a not a lot of people could possibly know about. No this. way. I mean, it is a it's a camp spot. A, you know, there's a picnic table over here, but there's hardly anybody out here, and it is beautiful, beautiful. And we'll show you the river in a little bit. There's a river just just down the ways from here. We honestly could not have asked for a better first place to camp in Washington. This is exactly what we envisioned camping would look like up here. And a nice bonus is that we were just a stone's throw away from the Clearwater River. So here is this beautiful, beautiful river. Lots of shoreline right here. We did try to see if there was some kind of connecting road on the other side, but we just couldn't find anything because we thought it'd be fun to keep exploring a little deeper, but 
I think the camp spot we found is perfect, but this is gorgeous. The Clearwater River runs 30 miles long and snakes its way around the Olympic Peninsula, eventually meeting up with the Queets River and dumping into the Pacific Ocean. We really had an amazing time exploring around here, but dinner was just about to start. All right, everybody, I think we have camp set up and just give you a quick walk around here. So Nate has his famous Tacoma and he's got this pretty cool off-road trailer. Nate, this is your first time towing a trailer? Yeah, first time doing an off-road trailer. How was I've towed it? a lot of trailers, but I have not slept in an off-road trailer. Okay. So far, I love it. Um, we haven't, this will be the first night we slept in it, but um, I really like having a kitchen that like folds out and it's so much less weight in a little truck and it's all back here, you know, just kind of suspending itself. And yeah. so far we love it. I, I love the look of it, man. I think that thing I needs to go it. on the back of a cyber truck. I think that would be totally yeah, rad. Yeah, it's rad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we've got, uh, got our propane fire pit here. We got chairs set up and of course the coolest chair. That's right. That's Chris's chair. Oh, it's my chair. <laughs> oh, that's Nate's chair? He doesn't know. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna comment. The shark chair is rad. <laughs> yeah. And then we got the camper set up here. Regina, good with the camper tonight? And then Josh is getting dinner prepped. Josh. Yes, sir. What's for dinner, buddy? We're going to do a little dish called uh, picadillo. It's a Filipino dish. Right. Uh, some ground beef, seasoning, veggies on top of rice. Well, thanks for cooking dinner, dude. I'm excited. You're welcome. Josh's dinner tonight was not at all complicated. A good mix of fresh vegetables and some lean beef seasoned up to perfection and then served over rice. What a delicious, savory meal to have at camp. It was great that Nate brought his son on this trip and even more special to me was that Regina was here enjoying this great meal and hanging out with us around the campfire. This is what it's all about. Good morning, buddy. Morning. What are you making over here? I am making a scramble. And what's, what's this thing? I've never seen you use one of these things before. I, it's, I think it's pronounced scoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so you've got a Toyota. Yeah. You're cooking on a Scottle. Yeah. And did you slept in this cool trailer. You're an official overlander. I think so. Yeah. How was the trailer? The trailer is great, uh, especially with the little one. I mean, it was. Well, not like there's any wind or any real, I mean, we have perfect conditions, yeah. but it was quiet, it was warm, it was 
everything you would want in a trailer. Yeah. The whole bottom is a mattress, so yeah. anywhere you roll, yeah. it was comfortable. It was great. Well, what a beautiful spot, dude. Thanks for uh, bringing us here today. Hey, I'm glad we accidentally found it. Accidentally, too, really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any, uh, any hint on where we're going today? Do I get any hint? Any hints. We are, well, actually, here, I can just tell you where we're going every morning. Ooh, that'll work. Okay. So, we, our goal today is, by the end of the day, to make it to the other side of the Olympic Peninsula. And so we're going to go up and anything we want to stop and see, we're going to be going through the town of Forks, which is where they film Twilight. Okay. So if we want to stop and, you know, get our Team Jacob shirts or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> we can. Okay. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, there's, there's beautiful places along the way and we'll just, we'll, whatever, we see, whatever seems amazing, we'll just stop and check it out and find another spot like this, hopefully. Awesome. Well, it smells good. I'm starving. Heck yeah, me too. You want me to help? You want help now? Uh, yeah, I could use some help. There's some seasoning over there in a black container. Can you get it for me? Behind me. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna help you. Don't make. Remember, whenever we sprinkle stuff, don't touch the eggs. Mm, is that good? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try yours. It must be better than mine. It's yours. We had a really relaxing morning, and I think we all agreed we could easily have spent another day or two right in this exact spot. But Nate had more of Washington to show us, so after packing up, it's time to head east. overlanded in Washington and we get a patch. Ta-da! Well, we've been driving for about an hour and a half this morning. Just a beautiful drive through the Olympic Forest. A little bit of the Washington drizzle, but it's really nice out here. Now we made a quick stop here to this small town of Forks. Uh, this town is renowned because the series, the movie Twilight, the vampire movie they wrote books about, was filmed here. My wife enjoyed that first episode. So this is kind of a cool little stop. I'm excited to see where else we're going to stop along the way before we hit camp tonight. After several hours of driving, we reached the small town of Port Angeles, which is the gateway city to the Olympic National Park. Both Regina and I have been here before, and it's a great little town with lots of small shops and restaurants. It was nice to get out and stretch our legs for a bit. All right, it is mid-afternoon and we've been driving along the Olympic Peninsula and it's just been beautiful. The scenery, the lakes, all of it is just amazing. And now we've arrived here to Port Angeles, which for my wife and I kind of has a special place in our heart because we've had the best bowl of lobster bisque we've ever had in our entire lives here. <laughs> but now we're getting ready to head out and I don't know, Nate, you've been all cryptic, man. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? You gotta give me some kind of hint. Uh, we are gonna go to the Buckhorn Wilderness area or somewhere around there. 
Um, I know General Eric. <laughs> I think, I think he's done. <laughs> We're, we want to go, um, I want to take us to an area. I don't have an exact location pinpointed. Okay. Um, I just have an area that I want to go check out that I haven't camped in yet that I figured would be fun for us all to go and just explore and, and discover together. Cool. So we'll be doing a little adventuring tonight, finding the right spot. Doing a little adventuring tonight. It should be epic. It's going to be uh, in the rain shadow. There's a rain shadow um, that's like right by Squim. And so, even though it looks like we're not having to dodge any clouds today, <laughs> at least not at this point, um, it's a really, it's a really cool spot. Awesome. Well, I can't wait. I don't know what we're getting into, folks. <laughs> we're just doing our best. Now, we had been putting in a lot of pavement miles so far today, but finally, it was time to hit some dirt. Now, Nate admitted he's never been here before, but he had mapped out a few trails and possible campsites, so we'll be doing a bit of exploring, and fingers crossed we find another amazing camp spot. Regina was doing most of the driving this afternoon, and it was great to see her take the reins of the power wagon. She's admittedly giving me a hard time about how big and obnoxious this truck is, but I think she's finally starting to warm up to it. So we've been out here exploring for just over an hour now and we came to a little fork in the road and this one here to the right goes up which is what we want to do but it starts to get very tight and so Josh has gone ahead oh, and, come down this way. and he's just coming back and so let's find out what the verdict is Josh what's the verdict down there so only about less than a quarter of a mile it makes a hard right turn and we would definitely have to do some wheeling to make it to the end of this shoot i marked it on my map for you that trail you know, goes all the way down yeah. there that's the end where we could get to it oh, okay and the it was a big, is it big enough to camp to camp it looks like that dude yeah i mean it's all right we're gonna try to get there guys why not we were having a blast exploring these trails for at least another hour. And while we found a couple possible campsites, it wasn't until we climbed up a small ridge line and found our home for the night. All right, everyone. Well, we went to plan B. So the first campsite we went to was a little too small and not the nicest, but this one here, boy, oh boy, we got room for all kinds of vehicles. And we've got a spectacular overlook far off in the distance. If there wasn't a smoky haze out there, you can see the Puget Sound, which is pretty rad. But this campsite is going to do for the night. My wife's up there. She's getting some guacamole ready because she's going to make up some quesadillas tonight. Not a bad little spot. They can get your own. All right, you know what? I'll get my own. All right, guys. We I are thought I was sharing mine with you, but we are fighting the mosquitoes. Yes, we are. Nate, what are you? Uh, what are you using there? Off botanical towelettes. Okay. My wife informed me that they're in her camping box, and sure enough, they were. All right. Um, so we're gonna try to do it the natural way, which <laughs> I think is probably not gonna be effective with this swarm. Yeah, I've got I've got pretty heavy duty DEET on, and they're leaving me alone. Josh, what are you using? 30% deep. You're using 30%? Nothing so far. And then uh, Regina, they love you. I and I have 98% deed on. 98% deed and this high speed butane. <laughs> I don't know what, it, what do you call thermal, that thing? It's a thermal cell. Thermo cell to keep the mosquitoes away. So we're fighting them, but the view is making up for it, I think, a little bit. Regina had marinated a bunch of chicken before we left on this trip in a tequila lime sauce that she cooked up on the scottle, which I think is a cooking tool she's starting to enjoy. She toasted up some flour tortillas, a little cheese, made some fresh guacamole, and this was an easy dinner full of flavor. 
We often have some admittedly a little elaborate meals at camp, but sometimes a dinner like this that is quick and easy makes for a little bit of cleanup, but is still very filling and tasty is just perfect. Regina did have a little surprise up her sleeve after dinner and rewarded us with a little raspberry fool dessert. What a way to top off a perfect day here in the Pacific Northwest. The next morning, we awoke to a stunning view above the clouds with the tops of the Buckhorn Wilderness Mountains peeking through. It's not often you get a view like this at camp. Incredible. Come on. <laughs> what an amazing spot. And, uh, and what I love is you've never been here before and nope. we kind of had to figure it out. And you happen to show up when it's sunny. Right, we it, got some sun. It rains in the middle of July here too. Yeah. So, especially it is rainforest. Yeah. yeah. So we got lucky on multiple fronts. Yeah. Well, just beautiful, man. I mean, the sunset last night, and then waking up this morning and the clouds. Oh, it was just perfect. Above the clouds. Yeah. It was beautiful. See little mountain tops just poke through. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. amazing. Great spot. And again, all we did was left, right, left, right. Kind of went to one spot, like, nah, not good enough, and just kept on going. And sometimes that's what it takes, just a little bit of extra searching, and you'll find an epic spot like this. I'm glad we didn't settle. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, other spot was just... Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, really it was okay, okay it was but it wasn't this. wasn't yeah. this. Okay, so uh, any clues on what we're doing today? Today we are, it's going to be a huge road day. Yeah. We're going over to another part of the state. We're going to be going uh, over to, my family has a cl uh, cabin over on the other side of the mountains. Uh -huh. And so we're going to go to the cabin so these guys can shower and... And we can relax. They've been on the road. I mean, they came up here from California. Yeah, it's day My five. adventure just started almost, and <laughs> yeah. they're on day five. So we're going to go head over there. We're going to do a ferry ride, which uh -huh. is going to be epic. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to drop off this kiddo with his mom. Okay. He, he came for half the trip. Yeah. Well, oh, oh. And speaking of kiddo, <laughs> it's his birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. He turns four, right? Can you show how many fingers? Nope. Nervous <laughs> in front of the camera. This many. I'm zero. Oh. All right on. Well, we're gonna enjoy the morning for a little bit longer, guys, and then uh, and we're gonna head out of here and uh, we're gonna put in some road miles. I thought I saw something over there around the by Brad's tire. Oh, I thought I saw it over there. Something for maybe somebody who's having a birthday. <gasps> what is that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think that is? Maybe for me. Maybe for you. Yeah. It says happy birthday on the outside. Yeah. Do you want me to hold your water cup so you have both hands? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Is that a T-Rex? Yeah. It's a dinosaur. You love dinosaurs, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Wait, wait. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? Wait, we live one. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave, I want to save it. You want to play with it right now? Yeah. I think what we need but to do wait, is we need to, more. we need to open up the rest of your presents. Okay, I'll, I'll put it right here. Okay. In my pile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see presents. I like one. Yeah! Wow. You're just asking for a football. Whoa. Can you say thank you to everybody? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. I'll play with it. You want to play that one first? Yeah. I think we all had smiles on our faces for hours after seeing Christopher's reaction. That was pretty special. The next leg of our journey would take us back down the trail for about an hour, and then we would set off east to meet up with the ferry in Bainbridge Island. But along the way, Regina and I took a close look at our route and asked Nate if he wouldn't mind making a short little detour along the way. Thankfully, he obliged. All right, uh, so we made a slight detour uh, because this is kind of a special treat. We were on the way and my wife was like, I think we're going through Paul's Bow. Mm -hmm. And if we're going through Paul's Bow, we got to stop at the Kitsap Memorial Park, uh, which is where we got married 27 uh -huh. years ago. Yeah, 27. 27 <laughs> years ago. So this we did an outside wedding right here, the Puget Sound in the back. That's and the Hood Canal, honey. <laughs> it's the Hood Canal. 
Okay, well, it's a big body of water <laughs> back there. I've always, for the last 27 th years, I, I thought it was- technically part of the Puget Sound. Part of the Puget Sound. But anyway. Remember the vows, I'm always right. She's always right. Uh, <laughs> this is where I married the love of my life. Mm. Love ya. That was a special trip down memory lane. Regina and I didn't have a whole lot of money back then, so our wedding was pretty simple. And we rented out this cabin for $30 for the day. Come to find out, if we wanted to rent it out today, it would cost us $1,850. Wow, that's some serious inflation. Once back on the road and a few hours later, we were loading up on the ferry to cross the Puget Sound. Washington State has the largest ferry system in the United States. There are 21 ferries across Puget Sound that carry nearly 24 million people annually to 20 different ports of call in this area. Our ferry ride only cost about $30 and it took about 35 minutes to cross the Sound. To make this drive across would have taken us over an hour and 50 minutes, so not only were we saving time, but we got to relax and enjoy the Puget Sound for a bit. Once across the Sound, we disembarked the ferry and began navigating our way through the streets and historic buildings of the Emerald City of Seattle. If you've never been to Seattle, you should add it to your bucket list. There is so much to do and see here. Unfortunately, we didn't have any time to do any sightseeing in town today. We needed to get on the freeway and begin our trek east. Beautiful drive over the pass, and uh, and now we are in a great spot. What's this? Uh, what's this building behind us? Well, this is my father-in-law's cabin. I'm very privileged to even have access to something like this. I mean, this is something that he uh, bought many years ago. The property he built everything himself, yeah. and uh, they allow me to have access to it whenever whenever I want to. So I wanted to share this with you guys. It's a really special place to us, and I wanted to let you guys in and just see. And it'll be a great break in between our trip and. Yeah. And I mean, what a day to come out. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful up here. And, and now my question is, are we in Eastern Washington or are we still in Western Washington? If you're from the West side, we are in Eastern Washington because okay. everything East of the Cascades is Eastern Washington. Okay. But technically we're still in like the Western half. Um, you go that way like an hour and it turns into like almost desert. It's yeah. very dry. We're like right on the cusp. You can tell it's dry here, but there's still trees. And so we're just kind of right like in the middle. Okay. And tonight's gonna be a nice break. We're gonna actually get a real shower. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna hit some real trails. Oh yeah. Tomorrow we're, gonna hit some, we're actually gonna air down. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna be hard wheeling or anything like that, but like so far, I mean, we've been, it's been pretty cushy. It's a lot of highway. Yeah. Uh, the last couple days are gonna be very little highway. Awesome. Well guys, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our afternoon here and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. On the next leg of our Washington adventure, we start putting down a lot of miles on the dirt. We continue our search for epic campsites. We encounter a couple challenges along the way, and the camp kitchen continues to pump out some great meals. And lastly, Regina will share with you her thoughts and opinions about how her first overland adventure went. Thanks for watching. <laughs>